This is quite a fascinating medical device, apparently. I mean, it could just be a digital watch, but it claims on eBay. Oh, there we go, eBay. And they've changed the listing since, but Slimway ultrasonic body bracelet shaped wrist brand LED casual sports touch bracelet. They've tamed the description down because I think people were maybe complaining. Because when I bought it, the original listing uh, said Slimway ultrasonic body shape wristband lymph drainage magnetic bracelet. And uh, it says things like it liquefies fat cells. Um, and prevent lymph node blockage, promote blood circulation, all the usual stuff before or after, um, just random medical pictures. And this thing's a bit chewed up, right? I'll, I'll show you it working first. Well, I already started showing it working. Uh, slight multiplexing effect. But when you touch the front, it wakes up and it displays the time. Touch it again, it displays the date, which is the 14th day of the 12th month. Uh, Touch it again, it displays the seconds. And if you want to change the settings, you just hold your finger on this little touchpad here and it goes into a very convoluted uh, setup menu that you're going to have to work out yourself because uh, to show you it would take a while. Anyway, let's pop it out of its little uh, rubber sleeve here. And I thought I'd uh, check out how you change the battery in this. Now, it did say, it did say uh, that it also... No, no magnetism. Nope. There is this little thing in the back that makes it look as though it actually does something. Now, I thought I'd open it to change, change the battery. So, well, work out how you change the battery. Well, it turns out, no. Uh, we're going to have to break it open by the look of it. So, if you buy this as a watch, uh, you're going to have to basically break it open to change the battery. So, I did start opening it and then decide to give up because uh, I thought I should be waiting till you guys are here so we can enjoy the moment together. I'm not even sure I'm going to get this apart. Let's try putting a file in, twisting it. That's uh, the bit that was cracking last time. Uh, oh, I can see a little cell in there, I think. Or is that just the LEDs? No, that's a circuit board. Maybe there is a way to open this that doesn't destroy it. I have not discovered it. I don't think I'm even going to be able to open it so easily now. Do I just use unfeasible force? Do I just rip the front off it like this? Oh, it's much brighter when you rip the front off it. Um, is that going to open it? Nope. There's a the little touchpad. It is just a metal mesh sensor, by the look of it. Capacitive sensing. This isn't going too well. Good. That's what we want. Let's see if I can hurt myself in the process of trying to open this infernal device. It's not going to end well, is it? No, it's not. Oh, there it goes. So it's got two standard LR44 type cells. There is nothing in the back of this. It is just basically quackery. And then it's got a very nice circuit board. Oh, the circuit board is very attractive. It's got conductive mesh pads that go into the battery contacts. It's got the blob. It's got the little timing crystal, 32.768 hertz. It's got foam with more mesh, a tiny little Six pin chip, that'll be the touch sensor. And then a matrix of LEDs. This is attractive. Uh, one moment, please. I'm going to take a picture of it. Okay, let's explore. I shall zoom down in this so we can see it closer. So when you put this thing together, it initially does an LED test. I've already snapped an LED off in the process of getting this off. No great deal. It's not like the end of the world since the thing is completely unserviceable. When they're making it, they have the base unit with the... They put the batteries in both negatives facing up and th these little springs connecting to the positives. And when this clips in and is pressed down, it does a test. And if you just keep applying it, it does a test each time. And then it goes to the time. And uh, that is it running at that point. It looks as though they then put this case over, this case that I've broken completely, and it looks as though it might be ultrasonically welded on. Or glued on. Not sure, but it is glued on. It's not something you can replace the battery in, which seems rather wasteful. But let's take a look at the circuit board. It's very simple. There's a very low component count. We have the blob clock chip, and it has a crystal, probably 32.768 kilohertz. It usually is, because that's a nice figure that divides down nicely to one hertz with binary. There is also another chip position next to it, which I reckon is an alternative position for this surface mount chip here, 
which says 22101D, and it is a touch sensor. Is that a date code on it? I, it certainly didn't pull up anything when I searched it, but I didn't search it too long, didn't see much point. The chip here is multiplexing these LEDs, uh, basically scanning the positive and negative to uh, address individual LEDs or a matrix at maybe one digit at a time. And uh, from the battery contacts, we've got the two positive springs here. A positive goes down to the chip. A negative uh, pad goes down to the chip. And then these two are just basically connecting those two cells in series because they're just linked across. They're not actually connected to the rest of the circuitry. Uh, what else is there to say? This mesh here, and it's the mesh they've used here as well, is just a foam with the metalised mesh around it, a sleeving cut into little bits and then basically stuck onto the circuit board. And that is the electrical connection for the touch contact that presses against the front of the plastic. And these two are just pressing against the batteries. I guess it's just an easy way to make a contact. Uh, but really there's not much else to say, is there? It is a standard chip driving a matrix of LEDs. It's got the unusual addition of a touch sensor with this touchpad, but no other support components. And once sealed into the case, technically speaking, it is waterproof. Uh, but you're not going to be able to change the batteries, not unless you get destructive with it, which seems very, very wasteful, particularly given how easy it is to trigger this by just brushing near it, and it's going to activate the display. Very odd. Um, but none of the other claims they made, there is nothing inside. It is really just a digital watch, and a disposable digital watch at that, which is a bit scandalous. But this is what we expect these days in our throwaway society. Um, and I guess really all the additions they did to the listing are p purely to try and sell more by making false health claims about it. But there we go. And that's also what we expect these days. That's very eBay. <laughs>